Have you ever wondered about whether you should focus on one specialized focus area of UX, like quantitative research or information architecture or interaction design, or whether you should continue exploring and experimenting across the myriad of focus areas related to UX? If you have, you've weighed the question of whether you should be a specialist or a generalist UX professional. What does that mean? Is one type of role better than the other? Well, quick answer, no. One is not better than the other. Both types of roles offer substantial, long-term value on a team, and they're both really useful perspectives for solving UX-related challenges. But just to differentiate, let's define and distinguish them. Generalist UX designers offer a wide view into problem solving. They can understand the connective tissue among many related UX areas as compared to having a single, very specialized area of focus. Generalist UX has a lot of benefits. For one, it exposes UX professionals to lots of different areas and types of problem solving. This is great for people who like to do and be exposed to different things. In the same vein, generalists also tend to gain a broader variety of experience that makes them valuable in different types of situations. And finally, it's easier to find organizations looking for generalists if you're on the job market. You don't need to find a team looking for a very specific role. However, one of the biggest downsides of being a generalist is that people might misunderstand your role as a do-it-all kind of thing. And that's not fair. You might be asked to do a lot and all at once, all the time. In comparison, a specialist UX role has deeper knowledge in a primary focus area. Maybe it's research or UX writing or someone who can code extensively and create working prototypes from a UX mindset. There are also lots of benefits to this type of role. As a specialist, you're gonna get a lot of in-depth experience in one specific area. That means you'll likely be in a situation where you can focus on a more narrow set of activities that you might really enjoy and that really highlight your strengths. The role of a specialist is sometimes easier for others to understand too. So they're more likely to right-size their estimation of reasonable asks and partnerships with you. And finally, you might be able to secure more niche job opportunities because there's gonna be less competition among specialists than there is within the pool of generalist UXers. But, you might get pigeonholed into doing only one type of work and finding those niche job opportunities at companies that understand and hire specialist roles can be more difficult than finding generalist roles. Look, both of these roles are beneficial and you may slip and slide from generalist to specialist and back over your career intentionally or just based on the opportunities that you get exposed to. My advice is to focus on what brings you joy and what brings value to your team and your product. It's generally realistic for most people starting out in their UX careers to begin as a generalist. But over time, through reflection and through experimentation, you'll understand whether this brings you satisfaction or whether you want to increase your specialization in a specific area. Every journey is valuable. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of our UX videos, take a look at these over here and consider subscribing to our channel. On our website, nngroup.com, you can access our free library of over 2,000 articles. You can also register for one of our UX courses that offer live, hands-on UX training.